What's up, YouTube? How is everyone? I hope good. I am here with the daily messages from the Divine Universe, and um, I've already pulled the cards. I pulled um, one, two, three, four, five out of my it is my spellcaster's uh, deck, which is a really cool deck. Um, in the book, after the reverse meanings of these cards, it will give you a spell for certain things that kind of relate to what the meaning of that card was. So I definitely use those spells once in a while for, for good things. Of course, I don't, you know, cast spells on anything that's in a negative way because I don't want the karma to hit, you know, come back at me times three or ten or whatever it is. So um, I am going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and duck out of here so you don't have to see me. And um, I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get started. The first card I pulled was in is the two of pin. Whoop! As I drop it, oh my gosh, already fumbling. And is the two of pinnacles, and it was in reversed. And this card, I will set it here. Um, means extreme imbalance, chaos, turmoil, over, uh, overwhelms you, the juggling act failed, a deception is revealed, over intoxication is a source of increasing misfortune and pain, danger, an accident, your current actions cannot be kept up for too much longer, A firm foundation is needed, nervousness, exhaustion from having to manage finances stretched too thin or having to keep up with too many things at once. So it's that's definitely a warning for someone. You need to slow down. You need to um, maybe try to manage your money better. Maybe what you know if you're drinking too much or you're doing too much of something. So. I would definitely pay attention to that. You know, we're all guilty of, you know, doing that. So just be aware of that. The next card that comes in is the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is a powerful person, authority, a self-assured, a well-self-serving individual, a boss, a dominating or controlling person ruling with a iron fist one who serves them in the military works in law enforcement has strength domination violence and abuse are also um, related to that this car to this king of swords conflict negativity the st strict and stern father anger quarrels a show of authority, having to submit to another person's rules, government, trouble with the law, a powerful enemy, and a warning of danger. So that is definitely another warning that someone out there needs to pay attention to and um, just be aware that this person is more than likely coming into your life. So pay attention to that also. The next card I pulled was the Five of Pentacles and it was in reverse also. And this card means a locked door is now opened, a new opportunity, avenue for success appears, charity, help is needed, extreme poverty, feeling weak, a warning to lock your, your uh, car doors and house doors, a warning not to lock yourself out. And I know it also means um, extreme, extremely bad weather, so maybe that's why it's a warning not to lock yourself out because... Where I live, I know that the conditions are very cold here right now, so it would be not a, probably a good thing to do that. And then it says, um, the next one I, I pulled is the Nine of Swords. And this this card's all about grief and sorrow. Um, it's grief, sorrow, the aftermath of a fight, sadness, lasting emotional pains, living with physical pain, mourning, an argument, shelved. The healing process, painful experiences in the past continue to haunt you. 
a broken heart that resists attempts to heal, being stuck in a cycle of suffering, depression, weakness and exhaustion, disappointment. The time has come to find to finally uh, find the emotional healing necessary to allow you to be able to move forward in your life and to start enjoying life too. It's easy for us all to get kind of stuck in our, you know, our sorrows over relationships or if somebody passes away or if somebody deceives us. Um, it is really, you know, easy to be stuck in that. It's something that we, when you are in that situation, you have to try and strive for to, to, you know, kind of climb your way out and, you know, to look at the positive things in life instead of all the negatives that you're feeling at that time. Um, also, if you are feeling you know, like this, you, uh, hopefully you're not having any, any suicidal thoughts. If you are, please, please, please talk to someone, talk to me. Um, I, I'll do anything to help anyone if that, if you're in that position and I know good resources for that also. So, and so that's really important and that's important to me too, because everyone means something to me, even though I don't know you or if I do, of course, I love you. Um, the uh, last one is the Three of Pinnacles. And this is talking about skill trades and craft, professional success, page, um, putting skills and talents to good use, corporations, accepting acceptance to a school or other organization, earn acceptance into a peer group, mentoring, employment, the work environment, networking among business contacts, a well done job, obtaining a degree or other certification training and development, education and study, shared knowledge. So that's more of the positive card for this reading, that's for sure. And then I also pulled a rune and just, I only pulled one because they're so long that I would, I, I'll do a reading of just runes, but I thought that would be kind of cool to throw in there. It says, um, looking inside yourself to help develop foundations in your life, the urge of conquest is powerful, especially self-conquest, is life is lifelong pursuit and calls for awareness, single-mindedness, and will, willingness to undergo your passage with compassion and total trust in response to relationship issues. It indicates that the relationship is timely, the bond is real, and there is work for you to do together, not separate. So if you are struggling in an area of your life and you just started a relationship or you're wanting to start a relationship, the universe is saying to, to actually open up about that so then that person can help you or vice versa. So you guys can work together to, to uh, you know, to work through that issue to, you know, have success in it or whatever the circumstances are. If the issue concerns devotion to a cause, an idea or a path of conduct, although at times the kind of preservation calls for lots of patience. So, you know, everything that we do in life, we really need to have patience with, with the people around us, with our jobs, with our, you know, with our our ideas with the foundations that we're trying to build in our lives, you know, anything that we, we are doing in life, we need to have patience. I know that we all want everything to happen right now. And unfortunately not everything can come to, you know, come together like that. So we just have to learn to have patience and, you know, you have that in, annoying employee that, or, you know, coworker, that you have to work with that you just cannot stand. You just have to have patience with them. Or if somebody's going through a rough time and say they, they're they not really talking to you or, or they're not wanting to be part of your life, maybe give them some time and have patience to see if they come around. Um, if your friends are kind of being shits or you know your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, just try and have patience with them. and. Definitely have patience with yourself because we're all on this journey of life. We're all living and learning and, you know, we have disappointments and sorrows and we have, you know, extreme happiness and, you know, and some of us are sick and some of us aren't and, you know, so on. 
We just need to learn to have patience. We need a lot more patience and love in this world is my motto. And I really, really try to push that. I am, I, I think I'm a pretty patient person in some areas. And then in some areas, I'm, I'm definitely not. So I'm definitely trying to work on that. Um, just, you know, do everything with unconditional love in your heart. Believe in love. And we can make this world a better place. We can help each other work through the bad things that happen to us. You know, the, when we have a broken heart, if somebody leaves us or you have rejection or whatever it is, we just really need to, to work together to, you know, boost each other's confidence and self-esteem and show love towards each other so we know that we really are doing something that is fulfilling and, you know, also doing something for others in life instead of just focusing on ourself as the main thing. Um, I know people are like, well, no, you, that's just the way the world is. Well, that's what I think that we need to change. We need to change that with love and understanding and patience for sure. Well, I sure hope that you all have a great rest of your day. I hope that you enjoyed this. Re oh, wait, 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 before I'm already going to say goodbye and I have two more cards. These are from the, the messages from the universe deck that I have. And I love this deck. It says, time to make a demonstration. The older the soul, the softer the glance, the quicker the smile, and the sooner to say I love you. They also skip and wink more than normal and hold hands with those they walk beside. Utterly fearless, the universe. And then I'll turn around. These messages I just love. And then the last card for sure is there isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. The only difference between a friend and a foe is that you've decided where love can grow. And it says the universe. Okay, now I'll do my spell. So I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. I, I am sending much love, light, happiness abundance um, healing for everyone and tons of kisses and hugs and happiness and smiles my smile I'm <laughs> being a dork and peace of course always and love again take care and I will see you soon peace